Design of singly reinforced section according to the BS 8110. What is singly reinforced section? The section does not require the compression rate. It is adequate to provide the tension reinforce. In the design of the singly reinforced sections, you can do it a bit easily. So let's discuss the design of singly reinforced on section with an example. Then it will be very easy for you to understand. As you can see here, we have considered some data for this example. Bending moment 250 kilonewton meter. We are going to do the Descent for bending only. Beam width 225, beam height 600 millimeter, concrete grade or the characteristic strength of the concrete 25 newtons per millimeter squared, strength of the steel 460 newtons per millimeter squared, cover to the reinforcement 30 millimeter, shearling diameter 10 millimeter. And also we assume here that no redistribution is done because if you do the redistribution, some adjustments are required. Let's see how we can do the calculations. There is a procedure for doing this. We will discuss this procedure step by step. All the equations we discuss here are given in the code BS8110. All those equations are given. So you don't want to worry in finding or deriving equation. All the equations are there. You can directly use those equations. First we calculate the effective depth. Now we know the depth of the beam that is 600 millimeter. Cover to the reinforcement 30 millimeter, stirrup diameter and the main reinforcement diameters are unknown at this stage. In based on our experience, beam size and bending moment, based on all those, we assume certain diameter for shear links and the main reinforcement. In this case, we have assumed 10 millimeter shear for shear links, straps, and 20 millimeter as main reinforcement bar. So, with that, we can calculate the effective depth that is 550. Then you can calculate the K, K value. So, you can calculate the K value. K is equal MOBD squared FCU. Here, M is the bending moment, B is the width of the beam, D is effective depth, FCU is the characteristic cube strength. Since all those parameters are known, we can substitute M is 225. Since the other parameters are in millimeters, we better use the same units. Otherwise, there will be issues, errors in the calculation. So, we have to consider 250 into Newton millimeter. So, 250 into 10 to the power 6 become Newton millimeter unit in the bending moment. So, B is 225 millimeters, D is 550 newton millimeters, so square is there, there is more square, so and calculus is 25. From that, we can calculate 0.16 as K. So, now when you design a single reinforcement section, first you have to check whether the section is singly or double rail. If K is less than K dash, that K dash is equal to 0.156. If your K value less than 0.156, it is a singly reinforced section. If it is greater, it is a double reinforced section. Here, its value is less than 0.156. Therefore, it is a singly reinforced section. Now, uh, we can calculate the leave arm for the section. Here, this equation also given in the standard. So, you can use that equation directly to calculate the leave arm. So, here D into 0.5 plus 0.25 minus K divided by this total whole thing to the power 0.5. So, since we know D 550, 0.5 is there, K is you, we know the K value. If you substitute this, we get the leave arm 436.9. Now we have to check whether the leave arm is less than 0.95D. This is a requirement. If it is greater, you have to consider 0.95D as the leave arm in design calculations. 0.95 into D is 552, it's less than that. So, therefore, you can consider Z as 436.95 millimeters. So, A is our reinforcement area can be calculated from the this equation. Now we have we know the bending moment, yield strength we know, z we calculated now. So bending moment same as the previously we have to substitute from the same unit, then you can substitute leave arm. From that equation, you can get the reinforcement area very easily. The required reinforcement area for this section for the given bending moment is 1309 millimeter square. So we can provide three numbers of 25 millimeter bars, it is something around 1400. So our requirement is satisfied. So with that, we are going to end the, today's discussion on the reinforcement design of single reinforced for section according to the BS8110. Let's meet again from new video. Thank you very much for watching our videos.